Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Baxter, and I'm back again with another video on Bluemix and uh, continuing my talk on Auth0. Uh, so in my previous video I showed you how to set up basic uh, uh, app that uses authentication and you can create users and use uh, social services to do authentication with your apps you deploy to Bluemix. Uh, but now I want to address the case, uh, the more enterprise case, where you may want to connect to an existing LDAP or Active Directory or SAML provider. So how do you go about setting that up? Well, once you're into your, uh, your Auth0 dashboard, what you can do is go to Connections and then go to Enterprise. Uh, in my case, I'm going to choose uh, Active Directory or LDAP. Um, you can easily do the same thing with SAML if you want, but I'm going to choose Active Directory of LDAP. I'm going to click the plus to create a new connector. So I'm going to give this thing a name. Uh, I'm going to call it uh, LDAP on Mac since that's where it's located. Uh, and click Save. Now if you're using Windows, you can just uh, use the Windows installer to install this. Um, but if you're using Mac or Linux, you need to do a little bit more work. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do it on Mac and Linux. It should be easier on Windows. Uh, so I'm going to open this link in a new tab here. And it brings you to instructions on doing this in Mac and Linux. You're going to need Node uh, installed on your machine uh, in order to run the connector. If you don't already have Node installed, uh, you should install that. That's step one. Uh, the next next few steps involve uh, downloading some code and uh, extracting it and um, um, running uh, some node code. So I'm going to click on this link here to open this uh, the thing it, the package it wants me to download uh, in a new tab from GitHub. I'm going to click the zip here to go ahead and download the uh, source code to my downloads directory. So let's go ahead and open that up, and I'll go ahead and extract that. Uh, and now in my terminal window, I want to go ahead and go into that folder. Uh, so here's the LDAP connector folder. And um, the first thing you want to do uh, with any Node app is run uh, npm install. So let's go ahead and do that. And that will install all of our dependencies. Okay, and now that that is done, um, uh, what we want to do is run Node server.js. This is all from the instructions here. It's going to ask me a couple questions. So it's going to ask me to enter this ticket number. So the ticket number was provided to me uh, when I created the new connector here. Uh, so you can see there's this ticket URL. So I'm just going to copy that to my clipboard, go back to my terminal window and paste that in there. And then it's going to tell me that I need to edit config.json and add my LDAP settings to that, which is okay. So let's uh, open that up in my editor here and you can see there's a couple of LDAP things here that need to be filled out so I need my the URL to my LDAP server so I already have this stuff uh, just so I remember it uh, in another page here so I'm going to paste in the URL to my LDAP server now my LDAP server is running on my local host machine it could be obviously in your case it could be running somewhere else um, and uh, the LDAP base is the base organization. In my case, it's called 7Cs. And then my bind user is going to be the, uh, the admin user for my LDAP server, right, that has admin permissions. So I'll paste that in there. Now my user also needs a password, obviously that uh, is secured in this case. Um, so that whenever you enter this password in here, um, as soon as you run the um, the connector, it will go ahead and remove it from the config.json document. That way, it's not exposed. Um, but you do need to enter a password, and the name of the field, uh, the name of the property is called LDAP underscore bind underscore password. And in my case, the password is called secret. Okay. Um, now, there's a couple more things, settings you need to set up for uh, LDAP specifically, um, and you can find those instructions uh, in the documentation for Auth0. So if you're using uh, LDAP or your non-active directory directories, um, you probably want to add these additional settings that helps um, the connector find users in your LDAP directory. So I'm just going to copy those settings out of there and also paste them into my config.json and save that off. Now I'm going to go back to my terminal window and I'm going to go ahead and run my server 
.js file again. And this time it should connect to, um, uh, to my LDAP server and also make the connection to Auth0. And you should see a message that looks like that. Um, now you can test th uh, that everything's working uh, in Auth0 itself. So if we go back to the enterprise connections, and I'm just going to close this window now, and go to my LDAP uh, section here, and uh, you can try it out. So click the play button, and I'll ask you to sign in. So um, here I will sign in, and um, I'm going to use my uh, user. So his name is, let me find a good user to use here. Uh, let's try Cornelius Buckley. Now the LDAP server I'm using is, is, like, uh, is, is called the Apache Directory uh, LDAP server. It's just a simple Apache um, uh, application. Uh, in this case, it uses Eclipse, and you can start up LDAP servers and view your LDAP rate from within Eclipse. It's really convenient for development, actually. Um, so his name, his CN name is Cornelius Buckley. So we're going to go back here, back to um, uh, the test page, and we're going to go ahead and enter his name as well as his, his password and click Access. And you can see it works, right? So here's uh, um, details about Cornelius. Um, and uh, you can actually go back to your terminal window and you'll see that some, something actually happened here, right? So that it actually did some uh, authentication. So you should see some more logging here in, um, in, your, in your terminal window. Um, now, since we got our connector working, let's go ahead and uh, add our, uh, the, the LDAP uh, authentication to our application. So if we go back to our apps, and again, we're using the same app that we deployed to Bluemix last time, my app, you go to connections, and you can see now there's an enterprise option here under connections for my LDAP on Mac, and that's the one I want to use. I don't want them to go ahead and use Google anymore, and I don't want them to use the basic user password authentication. Um, I just want them to authenticate with my LDAP. So um, let's go ahead and go to our new... Um, application uh, or, or try our application out on Bluemix. So I'm going to clear my cache again and I'm going to go to uh, HTTP auth zero sample dot my dot net and we'll see the familiar login page here and we'll click login and again we'll enter our oops we'll enter our Cornelius username And here, Cornelius, and the password, and we'll click Access. You can see it's signing in with my LDAP on Mac connector, and here's details about Cornelius. So that's how easy it is to authenticate with an LDAP or Active Directory uh, provider that is uh, within your firewall, or anywhere else for, for that matter, on the internet, uh, from Auth0 in an application running on Bluemix. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.